Yellow Jacob. And today, figure go ahead and break down the Minnesota Wilds' first four games. So, without further ado, let's get into it. And yeah. All I gotta say is, if the first four games are any indication of how the rest of the games are gonna go this season, I'm gonna need a lot more beer. Because, yikes. I mean, the start of the year couldn't have gone any worse for the Wild. I mean, good God. I mean, against the Rangers, against the Kings, against the Avalanche. I mean, <laughs> we never held a lead in the first three games of the season. And... It's not for a lack of scoring. I mean, we could score with the best of them. It's just when your goal, you know, when you're dropping seven goals in the back of your own net every night, it's like, what do you expect? Like, I mean, Flurry and Gustafson, I mean, credit Gustafson, but... I mean, the first two games alone, the first two games alone, the Wild gave up four. 14 goals. 14! And that's the thing, though, too. It's not like the Wild have been bad on offense. They scored nine. I mean... God, this is looking like the fucking Vikings from the last two seasons before O'Connell came in. Like, what do you expect? Like, this has just been absurd. Crazy. Just... Frustrating. I mean, Mark Andre Fleury looked like a sib. Gustafson came in in relief and didn't really do much better. Granted, I will say though, the Rangers and the Avs. Well, I mean, we pretty much all know what they are, and even the Kings to an extent. But like, just the first three games, we couldn't do anything right. We didn't even hold a lead in any of the first three games at home Whoo! granted I mean credit to Everson he actually shuffled up the lines and you know was trying stuff here but there's not much you can do when you give up like in three games 20 goals and you can only score about like 10 or 11 yourself you know I it, it's frustrating. And the fucking penalties. I swear to God. The first three games. The amount of times the Wild were in the penalty box. Whether it be right. Whether it be wrong. Whether it be missed calls. This, that, or the other thing. Holy crap. Like, it's the same shit that plagued us last year. Now, I will admit, I didn't watch a lot of tonight's game against Vancouver, because I was watching the Thursday night game, but... The Wild pulled out a victory in overtime, though. So, against the Vancouver Canucks, who... <sighs> yeah, that's pretty much... <laughs> describes the Vancouver Canucks uh, season in a nutshell right there. Ay, 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 yikes. I mean... I don't know what it is with Vancouver. I don't know if they're just cursed like the Cubs were or the Vikings are or what, but... <laughs> the amount of time the Canucks have led this season and are winless. I mean, it would make even the most diehard Canucks fan rip their hair out. So... And it's like in the exact same way, too. They held leads... But then they choked it away. Unlike the Wild, who never had a lead in the first three games. And it seemed like it was more back and forth tonight. So, have the Wild finally found their mojo? Maybe. However, though, one in three is not ideal. Especially when the rest of the Central keeps fucking winning. And all this, that, and the other thing. Again, it is what it is. I'm not... Hitting the panic button yet, but my finger is getting pretty damn close. Because, again, 
it's all about patterns in sports. Like, as a Wild fan, as a Vikings fan, I've seen these patterns before. Now, whether or not you're the pessimistic guy and say, you know, we should tank for Connor Bedard, if you're the optimistic guy that says, no, everything will be fine, you know, you just go through these rough patches every once in a while, which, again, I mean, it's an 82-game season here. You can easily drop three or four games and then rattle off five or six in a row and be right back into it. But, again, the Central is a tough division. And it's proven to be that way so far. I mean, hell, even the Colorado Avalanche, I think, are like 2-2 two and two at this point. So, granted, like I say, it's literally four games out of 82. So, there's still a lot of time left here, but... <clears throat> we have to get the goaltending situated. We have to get the defense in front of them basically not being an open fucking door. The turnovers. The penalties. I mean... It's the same stuff that has plagued us last couple seasons. And at this point, I haven't seen anything that's changed. However, though, like I say, tonight's win was a very gutsy, grinded-out win. And my boy Kaprizov got the game winner in overtime. Finally, who knows? I mean, like I say, at the end of the day, get that first win out of the way. Once you get the first win, you get some momentum going, you know, you finally start hitting your groove, and before I know it, one win becomes two, two becomes three, four, five, da 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 and you're right back where you want to be. So, if we can get the momentum and keep pushing forward here, that will be huge. Because, like I say, we're four games in, and the Wild are one and three. And again, it's not for a lack of trying. It's not for a lack of talent. It's just certain things, you know, whether it be the Wilds goaltending being shaky, whether it be the defense in front of the uh, goaltenders being not so good or whatever. I mean, there, there's a lot of things to nitpick at here, and there's going to be a lot of interesting details. And again, like I say, Last year's team was historic. Last year's team was one of those once every few years, once every generation type of team. You know, where everyone was playing above their skates. Is that sustainable? Who knows? And the Wild this year are such a difficult team to gauge because, you know, half the fucking league, or like the media pundits, you know, have the Wild not even in the playoffs, and like a quarter of the guys that have them in the playoffs have them in the Stanley Cup. So it's like, I mean, this team is literally the definition of all over the place. Like, there's certain people that don't even have us in, and the other people have us in the fucking Cup. So it's like, <laughs> sports, man, <laughs> sports. But again, oh man, and Zuccarello said it best after the loss against L.A. I mean, you, when you give up 14 goals, you're looking like a fucking junior varsity team out there. That's pretty much his quote, too. <laughs> so, but then, you know, I, again, they finally get the first one. At the end of the day, they finally got that W. Now they can relieve some of the pressure on themselves and move forward. Again, all you can do is win. All you can do is just keep going forward here. Don't hit the panic button yet. Don't blow everything up until you absolutely have to. Because again, there's still enough talent on this team to push it forward. So yeah, I mean... Again, after the first four games, we're one and three. Not ideal. But if we can go into the next road stand above 500 and, you know, keep pushing forward, finish the month of October at or above 500, go into November, 
go into December, you know, be right there in the thick of things. That's what we need to do. And like I say, again, this is a young team. This is a team, you know, after Fiala. After Cam Talbot. I mean, a lot of youth and the whole salary cap of Parise and Suter are finally biting us in the ass. So, again, there could be a couple of very lean years. Not going to lie. However, though, the Wild in a few seasons, though, if they can get the young guys gelling, get the experience, get the toughness, get the grit, get the grind, get the moxie, whatever you want to use there. We could have a very dangerous team that could be long sustaining in the not so distant future. But again though fellas, finally got that first win. Let's keep the momentum going. Let's rattle off a few more here. Hopefully we finally got our demons out of the way. Hopefully we finally got some momentum going here. Let's just keep going. Keep it going here. Let's turn one win into two. Like I say, one game at a time. One shift at a time. One series at a time. One game at a time. And let's get back into the race, guys. <laughs> so, with all that said, until we meet again, this is Jacob. Have a good one.